a great Christmas. How was your Christmas, Miss Yolanda? We had a really good Christmas. What was good about it? Well, we have this really cool tree that I really like when the lights sparkle at night. Did you decorate it? I, I did, yes. <laughs> With the help of my girls, of course. And we had lots of time together as a family, and we got to open our presents. But of course, we also remembered what's the most important part about Christmas, and that's Jesus. Yes, absolutely. That's one of the most important things, to take time to worship Jesus. Why don't we head over and sing a song and do that together now?
can be so easy to get distracted at Christmas time. Oh, I know, Pastor Jerry. And when we get distracted, we can miss the point of Christmas. You know what I find the most distracting? Oh, I bet I know. It's the presents. Yeah, I love that part. I mean, picking out gifts and, and figuring out what to give, it's so fun. And you know, gifts actually can serve as a really great reminder for us at Christmas time. Well, honestly, sometimes I just find it really hard to figure out what gift to give. And you know, I'm not the only one that feels that way. I know my friend Greg feels the same way, but he has an important lesson for us so that we can remember about gifts. I absolutely hate Christmas shopping. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And uh, as we're getting closer and closer to Christmas, it's it's time to go shopping and get people Christmas presents. And here's the thing, I love giving people Christmas presents. I, I love to give people presents. It's nice, it's awesome. But the whole process of going and shopping for them just drives me insane. I feel like I can never get the right present. If I find it, I can't wait to give it, but I just, the process of finding the perfect gift is just exhausting. Because you got to find the right gift, right? It's so hard for me to find something that, that I feel really shows somebody how much I love them. You know, my dad, I love my dad very much. And every time I give him a present, he always loves it. But it still drives me crazy trying to find something that I think he'll love. Even though he loves it no matter what I give him, it still drives me crazy. You are expressing your love for this person with a gift, right? And sometimes it feels like, Whatever you give somebody shows them how much you love them. So like if you get them a coffee cup, it's like, I love you as much as a coffee cup. You know what I mean? Even if they love the coffee cup, it still feels like it's not enough. You know who gave the best Christmas gift ever was God. God didn't have to worry about finding the perfect gift. It cost him a whole lot, but it was the best gift ever. God sent his only son, Jesus, to us, to everyone, to pay for our sins. And all we have to do is accept that gift, and it's ours. It's because of that amazing gift of Jesus Christ that we give gifts during Christmas time. These teeny tiny little gifts that we give during Christmas time, even if it seems big, it is teeny teeny tiny compared to the gift God gave us. But these teeny gifts that we give to one another during Christmas time is to remind us of the gift that God gave for us. Now the Christmas gifts that we give, again, can never ever ever compare. If you took every single Christmas gift and you made a giant pile of them, they wouldn't even come close to the worth of Jesus Christ and the sacrifice that he made for us. But they can serve as reminders of what is really important during this Christmas season. So as you're shopping for gifts and you're going out of your mind trying to find the perfect gift, don't forget that God has already given us the perfect gift and it showed his love for the whole world. The Bible says that God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son so that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. That is the most important thing to remember this Christmas season. Wow, what Greg said was so true. I mean, God already gave us the perfect gift by giving us Jesus. Yes, and when you believe in Jesus, we can have eternal life. So boys and girls, we really want you to remember that the next time that you get a gift or maybe you still have some gifts to give, we really want you to remember Jesus. Yeah, he's the most important gift that any of us have ever been given. Mm -hmm. So boys and girls, thank you so much for spending some time with us. And God loves you so much. And so So do do we. we. Bye, guys. Hallelujah.